me, because the things in my life don't look as I want them, money don't solve all the problems, I didn't changed enough. And the annoying talk about thoughts, daily ideas and lies regarding success. 60,000 seconds your brain is awake every day and you are with your eyes open. It is already boring, how everyone is telling you, change your mind, you have to change your mind and attitude regarding life, attitude regarding things and people, regarding what happens in your life and around yourself. Yes. You have to have different thoughts to achieve your success, your brain is the factory of the success. The majority don't need a brain machine if they don't want success in life, with bread, circus and a cozy bed after 10 hours of work, all the slaves are happy. For those who solve problems, help others or create the future, the brain is a tool, it is the ultimate working tool. Inside your brain are born all of your ideas and actions in the physical world, in your brain you project your vision regarding future, you think at your fears, problems and also in your brain, you find the answers to your problems and the solutions to your worries. Welcome to Enrich Talks, I try to understand this life that I have, and help people with my conclusions. Every day 60,000 seconds we dream with our eyes open, and have let's say, 100 new ideas every day. You cannot have millions of thoughts, ideas and experiences, when time is limited, 84,000 second in 24 hours, and you sleep 6 or 7 hours of them. Our character and actions are shaped by the thoughts we repeat in our mind more often, and by the actions we do with discipline and perseverance. The brain is the factory that process all the things we live, all the life experiences, all that we eat as food, and all that we feel as emotions, and what happen inside us and around us. The brain is filtering and recycle the thoughts, takes the conclusions and teachings and returns the garbage and waste, back on the processing line until we receive peace in our mind, and good answers from our brain. Sometimes the machine needs a break, a pause, the brain must cool down, chill out, stop the process of thinking, because as I said in my last episode, being too rational and overthinking, kills love, desires and friendships. It is true, the majority of people don't think. They eat what they receive or find to buy on the market shelves. They watch on internet or TV what other decide and they follow without protesting the life program their employer decide, live the life that government controls and the society calls, laws, the new freedom and just don't care about anything. Unless you are in the problem-solving working system or in the creation business, you don't need much brain to use, or to select your thoughts. The problem of the society is poverty in all senses. Young generations don't use their brain to read, learn and grow, older generations think at life problems, how to pay bills, buy food and make a living, and those who have enough, why use the brain machine, when you lost your motivation, you already, have it all or can buy it all. Life experiences are making people, become people. You cannot be a leader, a teacher, or a good worker, without having experience. This is why we see nepotism and corruption, weak people taking important decisions, smart people not being involved, people with experience don't care and silly stupid people being in the front lines at protests, shows, games, campaigns, in different people's crowds who are alike meet. We have three types of memory the rational memory which we use to learn things, skills and memories in life. We have the emotional memory, we remember our past life experiences with their emotions, good, love, bad, afraid, fear and dopamine, excitement, enthusiasm and so on. We have the spiritual memory, we keep in our mind and heart, all the spiritual experiences we had until today, answered prayers blessing from God, decisions through faith, wisdom and rules plus spiritual values we grow every day, through our routine regarding faith daily habits and exercises, practices and beliefs. As recommendation, 
I have a talk called The Silent Protester a link in the description of this talk, and another talk is Exercises to Grow Faith. Put your brain at work, write down some ideas every day, start implementing them in real life, still you already know this.